Hello guys, welcome to this video. This is um, an explanation on one of the three printers that are included in your computer science IGCSE syllabus. So you'll find many videos explaining about the inkjet printers, the 3D printers, and the laser jet printers. But here we're going to basically talk about the fact that how you're going to write the answers and the questions regarding this O-level IGCSE computer science paper. So let's start. So for inkjet printers, number one, the first thing you get to get uh, as your an uh, question is that they ask you that how the inkjet printers print an image. For that, you need to write four points because it's usually a four mark question which asks you the process by which you know the inkjet printers print an image. So inkjet printer is very similar to the printers we usually see in our daily lives, which we have at our home and at schools. So the process of printing the inkjet printers involves four simple steps that you can always write in your um, answer in the exam because you're giving uh, you're given you know really little space and you have to write valid points. Okay. So first thing you're gonna write that rollers are used to. move paper paper through the printer so the very first step is simple you get one mark for this that uh, rollers are used to move paper through the printer okay next is that um, nozzles spray ink onto the paper now there are certain nozzles inside your inkjet printers okay which spray um, the ink onto the paper and those uh, there are different technologies used which I'm going to discuss in the next part so and the third step is basically that different colored inks because you have um, usually three inks okay uh, it's cyan magenta and something like that okay but you don't need to you know care about that but you need to know that different color inks are mixed to create to create the required colors okay or to create the required colors of your document colors or whatever you're going to print and then fourthly you're going to write about that the technology uh, used could be piezoelectric or thermal bubble you can also explain that in your answer but these four steps are actually the most valid points you can write in the as the process okay so you can write the technology used could be piezoelectric or thermal bubble so these two technologies are the basic, you know, uh, technologies that differentiate uh, inkjet printers from the other printers. Otherwise, the basic printing steps are the same for all printers, except some are different for 3D. But so basically, the thing we're going to talk about here is about the piezoelectric and this thermal bubble, right? So let's check out that what can we write for what is piezoelectric piezoelectric when electric comes in the name it means surely electricity is used so in piezoelectric it's basically that electric current okay you know there's a crystal inside okay um okay don't mind my drawing this is basically crystal okay and an electric current assume this is current is applied to the crystal okay when obviously current is being applied to a crystal it will vibrate when it will vibrate, it forces a droplet of ink through the nozzle. Okay, you make this crystal vibrate, okay, through electric current, and then it basically forces a droplet of the ink through the tiny nozzle, okay? So, what are we going to write in this piece of electric? In the book, we have many unnecessary details, but we have to sort it out according to what are the requirements of the question. So for piezoelectric, you're going to write that electric current, electric current is applied to the crystal 
which makes it vibrate. Now this is pretty simple that you'll be using electric current to make the crystal vibrate, which makes it vibrate. Now what happens as a consequence that this forces a droplet of ink through the nozzle because through the nozzle um, we read about the fact that the nozzles actually spray ink onto the paper so the ink can be sprayed according to piezoelectric or the next technology that we have is the thermal bubble okay so for thermal bubble thermal bubble now look at the names okay don't just memorize it like without understanding but look at the thermal bubble so thermal is basically heat and bubble is something you know you all know that was the bubble so in here you're heating the ink okay the ink is inside those nozzles okay and then ink is heated okay it is heated okay you're heating the ink it is heated basically okay and it is vaporized into a bubble okay and then bubble is pushed through the nozzle okay ink cartridges okay uh, so the ink are in the basically in the ink cartridges which we have inside the printer so bubble is pushed through the nozzle onto the paper okay so it vaporizes you, you like the ink is heated from the ink cartridge okay and it is um, vaporized into a bubble and then that bubble is pushed through a nozzle and then it's onto your paper right so if we write it simply uh, without giving unnecessary details so we can write that ink is heated ink is heated and uh, ink is heated and it vaporizes okay you can write that ink is heated and it evaporates into a bubble or it vaporizes into a bubble to a bubble and then that bubble is pushed through the nozzle through the nozzle onto the paper and obviously then the bubble collapses so ink is heated and it uh, you know vaporizes into a bubble of course and then bubble is pushed through the nozzle onto the paper and then the bubble collapses okay so these were the processes and the technologies used now we're going to talk about another thing in inkjet printers that you need to know actually for um these two laser jet and inkjet printers you need to um you know there are some same steps and they're generally not asked but you need to know them that first you know um these are general steps for the printers okay general steps so first basically the data from the document is sent to a printer driver now this is something we already know that whenever you are printing something whenever you uh, bring a new printer at your home so there's a print driver which you need to install in your computer for that specific printer so firstly data from your document is sent to the print driver okay then then what uh, does the printer driver sh uh, make sure it makes sure that the data in the format that uh, data is in the format that the chosen printer can understand so secondly your data format is ensured that is, is in a format that the um, you know printer uh, that the chosen printer can understand and a check is made to see that the printer is available okay then your availability of printer is checked printer is checked okay fine and then your data is basically stored in a temporary memory which is known as the printer buffer so data is basically stored in the print buffer and then you know your document starts to print one by one as they are you know if the document like it, it's, it works in a queue. If you've sent document one first, then it, uh, it would print document one first, then document two, document three, and so on. So now, then a sheet of paper is, um, you know, fed. Paper is fed. Of course, papers are already there, but still, uh, you know, you, you know, the paper is fed. And what, and then what uh, does, uh, what it does is that the print head moves across the paper. 
Okay, now, now the general steps that we wrote for inkjet printers was basically that, okay, you know, rollers are used to move paper through the printer, okay, the paper is fed, okay, through this nozzle stuff, and then printhead is moving from side to side, and it is, you know, spraying, nozzles are spraying ink onto the paper, and then, you know, papers are slightly advanced one by one, and it is basically doing... Um, the inkjet printers are basically the thing you need to know is they are printing line by line okay so this has um, obviously everything has an advantage and along with it a disadvantage um, so we're going to discuss the advantages now okay so advantages of your inkjet printers are basically that okay but wait first when you write that it is it prints line by line so there is a disadvantage over here okay disadvantage and this disadvantage is basically that it is really a slow process okay because when it prints line by line it becomes a very slow process so it is a slow printing process okay and then the second disadvantage that you have is the ink is also expensive. Okay, ink is also expensive. So you can. For, um, but if you talk about the advantages, so the main advantages of uh, your inkjet printer is that it, okay, wait, okay, where is it? So the advantage of it is that it can um, do high printing call it can produce like high quality uh, printing because it is printing line by line and it is printing it very carefully so it is um, good for few pages of good for few pages of good quality color printing if you want some few pages uh, example your example your honor photos to okay, get your photos so you can just simply print it using these inkjet printers because they are good uh, for a few pages of good quality color printing because obviously um, when they're printing line by line so it's like good okay for the fact that quality is good but you know time is then it is taking so it is not good for the industrial purposes where you need a lot of printing like for flyers for advertisements right okay now and the other thing is that it is also a low cost printer okay low cost printer as compared to laser jet it is expensive okay so and uh, now these were basically the things that you need to know for your inkjet printers in the next video we're going to discuss about the 3d printers and the laser jet printers.